Today, you only need to open the newspaper or turn on the TV to hear how the NHS is changing. And that's no different here in Blackburn. The Blackburn with Darwin Teaching Primary Care Trust has completed a 12-week consultation over the future of the Montague Health Centre and have been engaging with local groups and local people over their proposed plans to build a new centre. I've lived on Montague Estate for over 25 years, so I'm interested about what's happening about the health service locally. Do you feel that uh, the Black Women with Darwin Primary Care Trust have involved people? I think they've tried. We've had two meetings in the town centre, which were reasonably well publicised. And we've now had a group of us of who were interested. They're trying the best because I'm afraid a lot of people are a bit apathetic, but they, Blackburn are trying the best to do what they can do to get people's opinions and then it can go into the uh, consultation as to what people want. That the people need to know and need to get involved because it is about your views which is more important. So needs to needs to look at this problem rather than put it on to the health side. Because of the volume of traffic that we're now getting, which is going to increase, parking is going to be imperative. Plus the number of elderly people, they are increasing all the time. They need transport. Uh, I know that this has to get knocked down eventually because it's like everything else, it's getting old fashioned, isn't it? <laughs> So why exactly does the Montague Health Centre have to be replaced? The centre has been increasingly finding it hard to cope. It's over 40 years old and does not meet today's modern needs. So to ensure it can deliver a healthcare service fit for your community, a new centre is required. The Patients Council, in partnership with Blackburn with Darwin Teaching Primary Care Trust, has recently developed a local group who have been actively involved in this consultation process. It's a bit of a, this is a unique kind of situation in which the Blackburn and Darwin Primary Care Trust are developing here because you're actually here right at the beginning. Um, no plans have been made up at the moment. Well, in some ways, of course, that is a very good idea because we can influence the plans, or we hope we will. Do you feel that a, a group like the Patients' Council, which has been set up in Manchester, would be beneficial in Blackburn with Darwin? Yes, I do, because, uh, as I've said, there's nobody taking an overall view. There's a big advantage in doing that. But at the same time, the specialist groups do exist and I think the overall the patients council shouldn't compete with them, but should work with them. I believe you're actually a member of a group called the Patients Council? Well I hope so, yes. I think it's a very good idea and it's very nice that the Blackburn with Darwin agree to having the patients represented and then we can put forward the views of patients because not every council does that. So I am very pleased that Blackburn are involved this way. We've been meeting since the 1st of April, looking at the proposals, looking at what cannot be changed, like the amount of money available and the size of the site, proposed site, and uh, what we can influence and trying to look at it from the point of view of uh, patients, especially people with chronic long-term conditions thinking that all oh, all these people are official and they don't you know they're speaking a different language and I think we need to break that barrier and make it, making it very very friendly user language that people can get involved and their voices are heard and and, and once they realize that their voices will be heard then they probably will engage into all these activities especially like the patients council so what is the alternative? This is the Darwin Health Centre, a few miles from the Montague Centre. 
Recently built, it is a shining example of what can be done with a public-private partnership. Many more facilities are on site. Corridors in waiting areas are all bright and inviting. The consultancy rooms at Darwin are large and multi-purpose, capable of handling anything from a simple consultancy to minor surgery, reducing the number of times one needs to travel to a hospital. We would like to thank everyone who has given the feedback on the proposals of the Montague Health Centre. The future of this site is still not decided. The Blackburn Patients Council, however, have considered its own findings and the evidence it's gathered, and given its recommendations to the Blackburn with Darwin Primary Care Trust to proceed based on the fact it will improve local health services. The Primary Care Trust will now review the information gathered and make its decision within the near future. Let's just hope they approve a new site with up-to-date facilities for our community. For more information on the Montague Health Centre consultation, go to www.bwdpct.nhs.uk or call 01254 282 -000. Or alternatively, if you want more information on the Patients' Council, go to www.patientscouncil.org.uk or call 0161 766 9323.